guys so in this video we are going to be looking at june 2020 for that math paper 2 question 8 it was on um, system of linear congruence and the equation is asking us to solve this system of linear congruence so we should look for the value of x that satisfies both equations so let's see how we can we can solve this problem so there are many ways to solve this problem but i am not going to use the chinese remainder theorem I am going to use another method which is, um, I can say it is short, provided you know the method very well. So the basic recall, the first thing we are going to recall is that um, if I have A congruent to B mode N, then a will be equal to b plus n times lambda where lambda is a constant actually a natural number so our lambda belongs to the set of natural numbers all right so this um this congruence simply means that um, a is congruent to b mode n it means that if you take a and you divide it by n the remainder is b so that's just the meaning of that if i take a and i divide by n the remainder is going to be b all right so um we are going to transform each of these equations to look like this and then we will write it this way and then we see how to proceed so the very first equation is 3x congruent to 1 mode 5 so let's see how we can transform that to look like um, the standard case here all right so 3x congruent to 1 mode 5 it means to i will need to multiply both sides of the equation by the multiplicative inverse of 3 in the mode 5 now multiplying 3x with the multiplicative inverse of 3 mode 5 you just get x now, so x is going to be congruent to um, the multiplicative inverse of 3 in mode 5 multiplied by 1 mode 5. Now, we need to look for this multiplicative inverse of 3 in mode 5. So, let the multiplicative inverse of 3 In mode 5 be let's say y now y is going to satisfy the equation this equation so the multiplicative inverse of 3 in mode 5 simply means that you need to look for a number that if you take 3 times that number you're always going to have 1 in mode 5 all right so let's begin with and it is a natural number let's begin with 1 3 times 1 is 3 which is not 1 mode 5 so y cannot be 1 let's go to 2 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 is the same as 1 mode 5 it means that our y is equal to 2 all right so since y is equal to 2 this equation becomes so that equation becomes you replace 3 inverse in mode 5 with 2 you're going to get 2 times 1 so you're just going to have 2 mode 5 that's what you're going to get so doing that you get 2 mode 5 all right so according to this our standard way here it means that x we can now write it in a linear form not as a congruence equation again so x will be equal to you see our b is 2 so you have 2 plus our n is 5, 5 times a constant lambda and we specify where lambda belongs to the set of natural numbers. Alright, now we, we have that equation. Now since this is a, um, a system, it means that the value of x in this first equation should satisfy the second equation. So I'm just going to replace, so maybe I can call this equation equation a now what i'll do is that i will replace the value of x in 
equation 2 by by the value of x in, in equation a since it is a system so doing that in the place of 5 x i'm going to put 5 times the value of x so this i'm going to replace this with the value of x which is 2 plus 5 lambda so i replace it with that so i just replace so this is my new equation 2 so this means that i can expand the right hand the left hand side you have 10 plus 25 lambda to be congruent to the right hand side is t2 mod 7 all right so from there i will need to um explicit lambda in function of the the modulo so i will first of all subtract 10 on both sides so remember 10 is the same as 10 mod 7 so i'm going to subtract 10 on both sides so that equation means that if you subtract 10 on both sides you're just going to be left with 25 lambda on the left hand side to be congruent to 2 mod 7 minus 10 and 10 is the same as 10 mod 7 all right so um it means that we have 25 lambda to be congruent to 2 minus 10 is negative 8 negative 8 mod 7 so negative 8 mod 7 is the same as 1 mod 7 um, negative 1 mod 7 not negative 1 mod 7 by adding 7 to it which is the same as um, 6 mod 7 all right so we get that so it is the same as 6 mod 7 so from here let's rewrite what we have clearly it means that 25 lambda is congruent to 6 mod 7 so we have 6 mod 7 now we also need to write it in this form so we need to look for the multiplicative inverse of 25 in the mod 7 that's what we need to find so let the multiplicative inverse of 25 this time around in mod 7 be y0 for example now it follows the equation 25 times y0 is congruent to 1 in the mod 7 so let's begin with when y0 is 1 you just have 25 but 25 is not congruent to 1 mod 7 now when y is equal to 2 you have 50 exactly 50 is congruent to 1 mod 7 because when you take 50 divided by 7 the remainder the remainder is 1 so y0 is also equal to 2 all right so from there now you can rewrite your congruence equation as because you need to multiply both sides of this by the multiplicative inverse of 25 in mode 7 multiplying the left hand side you just get lambda and things to that it is 2 the right hand side this 6 times 2 is going to give us 12 anyways let me just rewrite it so we have this is congruent to 2 times 6 mod 7 which will be congruent to 12 mod 7 all right so this means that according to the, the linear form that lambda is equal to 12 plus 7 times another constant beta and you precise where my constant beta is in the set of natural numbers very important all right so you have now lambda in terms of beta and you have x in terms of lambda so we have this equation now we have this equation so i can call this maybe equation b all right so from there now i'm going to replace so i'm going to replace or let me just say fit the value of lambda in equation a 
so feed lambda equal to that in equation a so if you do that it means that your x now will be equal to 2 plus 5 lambda but lambda has its value which is in terms of beta so in the place of lambda here i'm going to put the equivalence which is 12 plus 7 beta so you have 12 plus 7 beta all right so it means that you can expand x will be equal to um you have 2 now 5 times 12 is 60 plus 2 gives us 62 so we have 62 plus 5 times 7 is 35 so we have 35 beta all right from there we can now bring it back to the congruence equation so this means that your x will be congruent to now we see that if you want to compare this is this is a according to this sorry it is b the remainder the n is um 35 here is it so here b is 62 so you have 62 mode 35 so this is congruent to 62 mode 35 you can you can simplify so 62 minus 35 you get a response so 62 minus 35 is so you have 20 27 yeah 27 mode 35 all right so 27 mode 35 is the same as 27 so finally you get your response so this is the value of x x is congruent to 27 mode 35 so that's how you solve the problem using this method